Hi there everyone and welcome to the latest episode of What Makes This Plane Great. In today's episode we will be talking about the American twin boom twin engine fighter, the Lockheed P-38 Lightning. So what makes the P-38 Lightning great? Well the main things that makes this plane great are its speed, range and armament. It was probably the first fighter that could fly over 400 miles an hour. It had a range of about 2,600 miles and it had 450 caliber machine guns and one 20 millimeter cannon all in the nose. It was also capable of carrying other armament for fighter bomber and ground attack purposes too. The other great things about this plane that I'm going to talk about all link back to those three elements, speed, range and armament. Its long range made it first long range fighter escort and another great thing about the high speed long range nature of the P-38 Lightning is that it actually made it one of the best aerial photo reconnaissance platforms of World War II. It was in this aerial reconnaissance role that it accounted for about 90% of the aerial film captured over Europe. The 8th Air Force kept on using P-38s for photo recon missions after they converted to the P-51 Mustangs for main fighting service in Europe. Another great thing about this plane was its, was its success in the Pacific Theatre. It was in this theatre that the P-38 shot down more enemy aircraft than any other Army Air Force type. While there was no way the P-38s could outturn the Japanese fighters, like the Zero, Oscar, George and the Frank, etc., it was faster and the lightly armoured Japanese planes were no match for its four machine guns and cannon. A couple great reasons the P-38 was the plane of choice for the Army Air Force in the Pacific was once again its exceptional range combined with the fact it had two engines. These two factors meant that when flying over long stretches over the Pacific Ocean, you had a better chance of making it home, or at least out of harm's way, rather than having to ditch in a possibly shark-infested ocean that also involved the risk of being captured by a Japanese ship. The fact it had two engines was in a way like an insurance policy for the pilots. If one engine wasn't working for whatever reason, it could still fly pretty well on one engine. And there are plenty of pilots in all theatres of the war that have had to land a P-38 on one engine. Another great thing about the P-38 P-38 Lightning in the Pacific Theatre was that it was the aircraft deemed most suitable for Operation Vengeance, which was the mission to kill Admiral Yamamoto. Admiral Yamamoto was the commander of the combined fleet of the Imperial Japanese Navy, the mastermind behind the attack on Pearl Harbor. This was a long-range and low-level mission, but other available aircraft types, like the Corsair for example, just simply didn't have the range, whereas the P-38 did. So this basically leads to the great fact that it was a P-38 Lightning that shot down and killed Admiral Yamamoto in the converted Betty that he personally flew in. And I think that'll be it for this episode of what makes this plane great. Please like us, please like and subscribe. And before I go, I just want to mention that I do review classic rock CDs too. Please check reviews I've uploaded so far. Cheers.